And um, tell us more about what Taksumo is ba and how can it help siguro yung mga na aspiring entrepreneurs or freelancers na lalo na ngayon medyo mahigpit yata with the PIR. So, yeah. makakatulong si Taksumo about it. Yeah, so Taksumo naman started when uh, the concept start began when uh, I had um, penalties no, with the BIR like during Manila workshops. Because when I was running Manila workshops, I didn't think na parang, oh, nga na pala, no? may admin pala to. Parang meron nga pala kong tax na parang kailangan bayaran, meron pala accounting na dapat uh, that I need to attend to. Because when we business owners think of a business, it's normally, ano yung lulutuin ko? Ano yung bibenta ko? Diba? Cookies ba? Sushi bake? Diba? Or, um, nag-virtual assistant ba ako? Mostly that, eh, diba? All of our focus goes to the fact that we want to start a business. What do I do? We don't think of like the nitty-gritty admin stuff that needs to be done, like accounting, tracking of finances, compliance, diba? So that's what happened to me. So two years on to like uh, after starting Manila workshops, I had some trouble. I had an accountant, pero for some reason, your accountant ko wasn't filing properly that time. So so and no din yung isang accountant. So maraming mga penalties that na incur ko pala, hindi na hindi ko alam. So I had to pay it off. And then I always got stressed. Lagi akong stress pag tax deadline kasi I need to attend to it. Sabi ko, as a business owner, I think dapat alam ko kahit na basics nito, no? Parang kahit na basics ng taxation, dapat alam ko siya. Kasi, I mean, kaya nga ako nagninegosyo, di ba? So, I need to know if kumikita ako or not. So, so no, when I was thinking through it, yung husband ko rin was saying, bakit ka ba laging stress? And yung background naman niya was IT. So, nagko-code siya, nagde-develop siya ng systems. Sabi niya, let me create something for you. So, we we went through the processes and then saw that marami palang improvement when it came to compliance. So, gumawa siya ng system na working lang sa computer namin. And then when he did that, sabi ko, wow, sobrang bilis na. Like, parang hindi ko na kailangan masyadong mag-compute, mag-calculate kasi nandito na lahat. So, sabi niya, uh, yun. And then we got to the point na, alam mo, a lot of business owners will will find na sobrang galing nito kasi sobrang dali niya gawin. And we can help them. So that's when we toyed with the idea of creating a tech startup company. And wala namang kaming alam really sa tech startup kasi both of us were um, were from the corporate environment. The only, uh, the only thing that, basically the only experience that we had was we, we joined the Startup Weekend way back in 2010. So that was one of their events. No? And then after noon, wala na naging busy na kami with work. So what we did was we, again, like uh, immersed ourselves in the tech startup industry. And that was 2006, uh, 2016, 2016, sorry, 2016. And then... Yun, parang we pitched, we developed the idea, look for mentors, joined Idea Space. Idea Space was a big help, no? So they really helped us formulate or solidify the product further. Um, got funding from a VC. And then, yun, parang tuloy tuloy na yung growth, really. But what made Taksumo really, um, uh, well, not known pa right now, so that's why. Uh, I'd love for people to share about Taksumo. But what made people trust Taksumo was really because ano eh, it's, a, it's a convenient thing that brings back time. No? So diba, we spend our time really on tedious things like taxes. And it's a wasteful. Eh, diba? As a business owner, kasi when you look at it, sana napalaki ko na negosyo ko kung hindi ko na inaatupag to. Diba? Parang ganun tayo. Eh, diba? Which is totoo. Eh. Why, why should we busy ourselves with tedious and manual processes when you have tools like this? So for me, talaga firm believer ako of the value of time versus the value of money. Money, kasi you can just get that. Eh. You can earn that in the future. But time, you can't bring back. Diba? So, thus, the, I've seen that the most successful people really know how to spend their time properly. And yun eh, that's, that's yun yung priority nila. How do I, in the 24 hours that I'm given, how do I spend this time? It's not about, ah, saan ba ako makamura? Alam mo yun? Or, saan ba ako makakuha ng most affordable deal? Hindi yun eh. It's more of, what do you do with that time? 
So that's why maganda na, let's say, you outsource to freelancers, di ba? If, if you can focus on more stuff, di ba? More important stuff on growing your business. That's why those concepts now come into play. That's why important na freelancers outsourcing, di ba? Kaya nagkaroon BPOs. Because the, the, the really good and successful business owners know na yun yung importante. Mas valuable yun than yung pera na, na skin-scrimp on ko or tinitipid ko. Correct. So, it is better for lalo na doon sa mga bagong entrepreneurs or sa freelancers to get more clients instead, to launch more products, to work on their branding, kesa sa file ka ng taxes mo, mag-compute ka, mag-check ka pa if, if it's correct. So, it's a mas magandang trade-off. No? Kung baga yung yung money that you will or invest for that uh, tool or app, eh, kaya mong ibalik, doblehen, triplehen, kasi you're working on the most important things and siguro forte mo 